this is Ariel once again. Um, I am still trying to get um, this cold off of me. Um, so, today we are going to talk about what is in my hospital bag, what's in my baby bag. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> who are tuning in with me for the very first time, the quality of my videos are generally a lot better, um, but I am out of town to have my baby, and so being at my parents' house, I do not have the equipment with me. Um, I was not going to lug all that equipment up here. <laughs> <coughs> so, um, excuse me for not having the quality that many of you are used to if you have seen my other videos. Um, the next thing is I wanted to show you guys what is in my hair. I was talking to you guys the last time and I was saying that in the last video I tried out um, a Shea Moisture cream in my hair and found out that it was not a wash and go cream. It was actually one of those ones that you put in your hair when you're going to do twist outs or braids or something like that. And so it did not work out for my hair. It, it just, it didn't do it. But this is what the Aunt Jackie's looks like when it's in my hair. I detangle my hair with my fingers. And so you can still see that it's a little white right now. Um, it has not completely dried. Um, and I will say that some of the whiteness that you're seeing is just from the camera and also from the window. So because it, it actually is a lot darker than that in person. Um, but yeah, this is what we're working with right now, you guys. Um, so the, let me show you, and I'm going to show you guys this too in just a second. Um, you guys have seen it, but I'm going to show it to you again. This is what's in my hair. The, um, Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink. Don't shrink flaxseed elongating curling gel. I actually really like this. Um, even better than my Cantu custard, because I use that too, and that works well. I use Eco Styla gel, that works really good for my hair, but I would say that this is my favorite. I just feel like it should have came in a bigger container. I got this one from Marshalls for $3.99. Um, so I will try to see if I can at least order a bigger container of it, because I really like it. Okay, so. As you guys saw on the picture, and y'all forgive the picture being so dark, work with me here, okay? Work with me with this lighting, okay? Um, this is my hospital bag. I have had this, this is a Wilson's leather bag. Um, you guys know that I am a thrifter, but I actually did not thrift this particular bag. That one I purchased years ago, like, Probably about eight, nine years ago. I literally have had that bag that long. I take it everywhere. Every vacation I have had, I've taken that bag with me. <laughs> um, well, not every vacation because I got this bag probably after my first or second vacation. And then after that, I took it with me everywhere. Um, it goes with me every time I travel. I love this bag because it is real leather and it is durable. When I say durable, it's durable and it is made to last um, like I said I have had that bag for at least eight or nine years so that is my um, that's my hospital bag this uh, was inside my hospital bag um, <clears throat> I also want you guys to know that I bought a lot of my stuff very inexpensively I have worked in hospitals I've worked in nursing homes and I know a little bit you know I'm not a doctor or a nurse I'm a nursing assistant um, but I know a little bit um, about how they operate and what they already have. So I knew not to go crazy, spending too much money, um, buying a lot of stuff that you don't need. So you'll notice that there are some things that's not in my bag or there's some things that I got very inexpensively. Most of the things that I purchased that are inside my bag came from Family Dollar, the Dollar Store, Dollar General, um, and Walmart. And I'm not a big Walmart shopper, y'all know I love Target, but in this area, um, Target is like 45 minutes, 30, 35, 40 minutes away. 
So <clears throat> instead of driving all the way to Target, I went to the Walmart, which is closer. Um, and I just happen to like that particular Walmart here. So, but when I'm at home, um, generally I go to Target. Um, but I found some really nice things. So I'm going to show you this first. This is my um, little pouch that I have my little personal items in. I picked this up from Family Dollar for $8, y'all. $8. Really cute. And I truly don't believe that this looks any different from the ones that you get from Walmart, the ones that you get from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, um, the ones that you can purchase um, at Ulta. I really don't think this looks that different. I mean, maybe it looks cheap to you, but to me, it looks pretty much like the same thing. Um, and this was at Dollar General for $8. This is so, so cute. Y'all know I'm a girly girl. I like pinks. I like purples. I like all kinds of pretty colors. Um, so this works well for me. I do have it stuffed, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I have in here. So, when you open it up, first of all, it has two little pieces. Is that not cute? One is striped. One is polka dot. Dollar General, y'all. Dollar General. Okay? Okay. I'm a mommy now. I'm trying to save some money. So, um, okay. And then this is the one that's in the bottom. And then you have the bigger one, which is clear. You can carry this separately if you want to put something in this one and you want to use this as its own separate container. You can, or you can carry it the way that I have it where it all goes in together, okay? So this is the bigger compartment. So cute, black and pink, I love it. <coughs> um, this always reminds me of Beetlejuice. Am I the only one who used to watch Beetlejuice back in the day? I used to love that cartoon when I was a child. I was one of my favorites. Um, so I picked up a couple of other things from the store. Now I don't remember which ones came from Family Dollar, which ones came from the dollar store. As I can remember, I'll let you know. Okay, so even though I use natural soaps most of the time and that's what I normally use on my face, I decided that I wanted to pick up the Cetaphil. Um, daily facial cleanser. I've used Cetaphil before and I know that this is a pretty good brand you know a facial cleanser. I do like it. Um, I've, I've used the big bottle of it before. I like it. It's gentle on your skin. Um, this one is for normal to oily skin which that's pretty much the type of skin that I have. I probably picked this up for uh, a dollar or a dollar and 20 something like that it was very inexpensive you guys it, it wasn't expensive at all matter of fact i might have my receipt around here somewhere i'm not 100 percent sure i'm sorry i'm just trying to get the lighting where you guys can see me really good um i'm sitting by the window so you know every time i move the lighting is going to change okay so but i think this was maybe like a dollar 20 something like that um this opens up like this okay and i had this just sitting on top and it was zipped so i took this out next thing is i have some um pads these particular ones what is the brand of these pads excuse me um, I will tell you the brand in just a minute. I will not be telling you the brand <laughs> because I threw the box away. Um, and I don't know where it's at, y'all. So don't be asking me because I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I know that I picked them up from the dollar store. I want to say <clears throat> that these are always or stay free. So I did pick up some pads. Um, they're everywhere. I have them tucked into everything so I don't forget them. After your pregnancy, you know you're going to be bleeding, TMI, for those of you who can't handle that type of stuff. You know you're going to be bleeding. The hospital will provide you for those those thicker pads. They pretty much always have some of those in there. Um, for that first gush right after the baby, um, and you clean yourself up and you're going to get that first big gush of blood that's going to come out. And it's probably going to be quite a bit. 
So I would wear the thick, thick pads for maybe the first few hours. And then once it starts to calm down to just uh, um, what I would say like a regular bleeding, um, I'm going to switch over to these. So, Because those really thick ones can be uncomfortable. So um, once it kind of calms down, I will switch over just to the regular pads. So I do suggest, ladies, that you do have some of these. I just have those two stuck in here, but I do have some more extra. Um, I also have my um, cleansing feminine wash, which I picked up from Family, Family Dollar. Yes, they do have the Summer's Eve product if you prefer to use that. Working in nursing homes and hospitals, you guys, I can tell you that the generic brands of stuff is just as good as the regular brand. We use generic brands even in the hospital. Um, pretty much you're really paying for marketing and you're paying for the brand itself. Um, every now and then you will have certain things where it's better to get the brand because they make it a certain way. Um, but most of the time the generic and the brand is pretty much the same. And I can tell you I've used the generic of this one before and it works fine. Okay. Um, it is hypoallergenic. It is dye free as well. So I just picked this one up from Family Dollar because of all the blood and the bleeding, I will probably pour a little bit of this into some water with a washcloth and really cleanse off all of the blood from my body. Um, I picked up some mouthwash. This is to be compared to Listerine. It is not the name brand either, but I have used this before and it works fine. This is just a regular mint mouthwash, okay? Yes, they did have the brand. Even in Family Dollar and Dollar Store, you can find brand name stuff. But it just wasn't necessary to get it because this, this large bottle, 8.5 fluid ounces, was a um, dollar. Just a dollar. Okay, so I am going to put those back in there. So for those of you who, um, you know, everybody doesn't always have the money to get everything that they need right away. Um, yes, I do have some money and could have gotten some things that were brand name, but y'all, when, you know, I know I'm becoming a mother and I just don't feel like I should be spending my money like that. I feel like I should be saving it, you know? So I'm just being a little bit more conscientious with how I spend things, you know? So in this little cute pouch, you just open it just like so and in here I have my little baby's washcloth <laughs> this is gonna be one of his little first washcloths I just thought that was cute now that can go in his baby bag so I'm actually going to put it in there because I meant to do that earlier and forgot about it he has another little washcloth in here and I'm gonna put that in his little baby bag there Okay, so what's left in here are my nursing pads. Um, these nursing pads came from Dollar General. They actually had them. And I was shocked and surprised. These are the um, disposable ones, okay? These are the disposable nursing pads. And you basically open them up and lay them on your breast so that way, um, you know, you're, you're gonna leak milk once things start get going and your milk starts coming in, your milk supply. There will be times when you're gonna leak milk. You might do it while you're in the hospital. You don't know. Um, so I have quite a few of these tucked away in here just in case I need them and they happen to fit perfectly in this little pouch. And I love that. I love that they fit in there so perfectly. <clears throat> okay. Alright. On in my other pouch, um, which also opens just like so. Okay. I have, which I got from Family Dollar, 100% virgin shea butter, and this is the Shea Moisture brand. 
okay so you don't always have to get it from Target and Walmart you can also find these in Family Dollar or Dollar General I think no this might have came from Dollar General so yes they do have Shea Moisture products in there and I also saw that Family Dollar has the Shea Moisture shampoos and conditioners and they also have the Cantu shampoo and conditioner so for those of you who are looking to find it um, inexpensively um, they do have it okay it smells wonderful I love the coconut one this is coconut oil and shea butter soap and um, I just I'm sorry I'm reading it I just think it smells so good I love this so I'm taking this with me even though I have the vaginal cleaning stuff you know I'm just gonna be using that for my bottom and this is what I'm pretty much gonna use for the rest of my body okay I also decided to pick up a little chapstick this one is the Carmex um, Comfort Care Natural Lip Balm with Colidol Oatmeal Watermelon Blast. I don't have this on today. This is just for me to use in the hospital. And I will probably, after the hospital, this will be something I'll keep in the car that I can just have whenever I need it. Okay? Um, so I thought that was cute. And, I, you know, everybody has chapstick. I was watching the other videos with the other girls and everybody had chapstick. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to need chapstick because, first of all, it's winter. It's cold. And I know my lips already dry out really bad. And um, <clears throat> I have to always have some sort of lip gloss or something on my lips. Um, and so it's good to have it. And I just ran out of the chapstick that I was showing you guys in the other video, the Dr. Bronner's chapstick. I just ran out of that. So it was good to go ahead and get another thing of chapstick. Um, I did, I bought a big thing of Q-tips and I just took a couple of them and threw them down inside there from when I need them. Um, this I stashed in there just because I think this is a good place to keep it. Not that I actually feel that I'm going to need it. Um, this is for my fingernails and stuff like that and toenails. And this happened to be like 50 cents, I think. I think this is about 50 cents. Um, but I like that it comes in its own little carrying case. And so I decided that was a good place to keep it. I have to do my toenails and stuff um, today anyway. So I'm going to be doing that and using my little kit clean it and then put it back in here okay so we're gonna close that um so that whole little thing first i purchased these from dollar general these are cute little mauve colored slippers in the inside has some little gold detailing in there. The name is Charles Albert, New York. Okay, I have no idea who that is. I don't really care. <laughs> Not trying to be funny, but these are fuzzy and they are mauve color and they're so just comfortable, comfortable, cute pair of little slippers to throw on, um, socks just in case I like my I don't like to be cold and I know the hospital stays cold um, I do have midwives but I will be giving birth at a hospital with my midwives present and so I'm just making sure that I have enough socks um, these two pairs are like my um, my socks to wear in the hospital my comfy cushy socks and then this pair is what I'm gonna be wearing um, that I'm gonna put on to go to the hospital because I'm going to be wearing boots so they're not hard to get on boots they're like zip up boots but I want to make sure I have something over my feet so we will definitely have that <clears throat> I at Dollar General I picked up a pair of hipster underwear the pair that rise up a little bit higher on the hip and give you a little bit more coverage in the back because you need your grandma panties when you're wearing pads, okay? <laughs> I don't believe in wearing thongs and a pad and little small underwear. I just don't believe in that. I think that's ridiculous. So I got me a pair of Hanes um, from there. 
if this is a three pack and I just picked up a little small three pack and I, I don't remember how much it was. I want to say it was maybe like $4, four or $5. So I would definitely be taking that with me. I picked this up for $5, some little washcloths. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these in here. Now these are a little crunchy and um, what I may do is take these out, wash them and dry them so they soften and we get some of the dye out of it and then um, put them back together once they're dried and put the bow back on it and put them back inside my bag. But I haven't done that to them yet, but I think I am going to do that today. So these were only $5. So you get quite a few. Okay. Um, family Dollar. Um, at Family Dollar, I also picked up um, a velour sleep set. They call it velour, but I'm sure it's probably not real velour. $10. Um, and it's just a cute little pink with polka dots sleep set top and bottom and again this is post baby after you know of course you're gonna when I give birth I'll probably be wearing one of their um, hospital gowns and afterwards once I'm cleaned up and I'm breastfeeding the baby and I'm in the bed and I'm calm and everything is good I am gonna want to put on my own clothes um, and this is probably where I will wear out of the hospital possibly I don't know yet. Just depends on how long I'm gonna be there. So, but more than likely, I will probably wear this out of the hospital with my little socks, and I throw my boots on, put on my coat, and come on home. Okay. <laughs> um, I have my toothbrush, which I always stick in a Ziploc baggie. Um, if you choose to do purchase one of those um, little things that you can put your toothbrush in. You can do that too. This is just something that I already had here at the house and I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to purchase something when I could just throw it in a Ziploc bag. Okay. Um, I also bought some unscented wipes. These are hypoallergenic, alcohol free, dermatologist and pediatrician recommended. I bought these at Dollar General. Yeah. And the whole pack was probably like two dollars two or three dollars I got these I thought these would be really good to use for the baby now let me say this um, there is more stuff on the way like I said I'm waiting on my husband and um, I do have more stuff like nipple cream but I know that the hospital if I were to go into labor before my husband gets here Okay, you guys, in the last video, I was telling you that he was supposed to be on his way. Well, he's working extra days. Um, so, because he decided to work some extra days, it's a possibility baby could come. So, if the baby comes, I have pretty much what I need. Um, I know the hospital would uh, generally give you nipple cream if you need it. Um, trying to think what, um, what else was in my bag that I don't have with me at the moment. Um, I think I might have put a baby bottle in some of those bags that my husband's gonna be bringing, um, which I don't want the baby to be on the baby bottle. I wanna start breastfeeding immediately, but um, if necessary, I do have it. Um, the hospital also provides you a breast pump if you want it. Um, or I mean one that you can use while you're there. I don't know if you can take it home with you, but I'm pretty sure you can use it there. So there are some, some things the hospital will provide that you don't have to worry about. But um, like I said, there's some stuff that my husband is going to be bringing with him. And so I want to just have the things that are absolute necessities with me right now, just in case the baby comes. But he's taking this baby is taking his precious time, acting like his daddy, coming at the last minute. Hmm. Wonder where he get that from. So, anyway, I have extra underwear. Um, I also have you guys my um, spandex shorts 
that you know you were under your clothes because one of the things that one of the um, sisters one of the girls was saying on YouTube that I was like ooh sis yeah that's a good idea um, she was saying that after you have the baby your stomach kind of feels like jelly and um, you got a lot of wrinkly skin and that sort of thing and just to give you a little bit extra support she decided to bring one of those little um, those things that stretch around your stomach and if I'm not mistaken she was a second time mom so um, she's already gone through this process once before and so she was just like you know this is something that she wanted to bring just to feel a bit more comfortable and kind of help her stomach you know um, kind of start to come back in after labor the other thing I have is a tank top this is sort of a control tank top as well it's a bit stretchy it's a little tight um, now unfortunately I don't have a breastfeeding tank top I thought maybe this one was gonna be one because I saw the hook there but it's not it's not one of the ones that can be unhooked um, but that's okay I don't have an issue with wearing this top because I know I can just pull it down in the front. This can just be pulled down. It, it doesn't fit that tight that it can't be pulled down, okay? So I literally can just pull the front down and breastfeed, okay? Um, and it, I do like that it also gives me that comfort and that suction as well. So this I will be wearing over that. And with it being cold weather and it's going to be cold in the hospital, this will definitely help keep me warm. I gave in and I bought a little bit of makeup just a little bit because y'all know I'm gonna be looking a mess when I have this baby and my hair gonna be looking crazy I'm gonna be looking a hot mess okay but afterwards people love to take pictures of newborn babies and I know my family is gonna want to have pictures I know his family is gonna want to have pictures especially being that I'm not down there and they're gonna want to have pictures and I want to send those pictures out with some of the baby shower thank you cards and stuff like that so um I had to make sure I look halfway decent in these pictures, okay? So, um, after the baby, and after I've gotten a little bit of sleep, and I can get up and clean myself up, I am, I bought this nude LA Colors palette, just to have a little, little something, little something to put on my eyes. Um, I am going to try out eyelashes for the first time. We gonna see y'all. <laughs> We gonna see because your girl don't normally wear lashes. Okay, so we gonna see how that goes. Um, now I do have the stuff that I typically wear all the time. I have a um, NYC Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer. I actually do wear this quite often. This is this is my foundation. Like I don't I don't wear regular foundations. I just use concealer, and that works for me. Um, I have some lipstick if I choose to go with the cat suit lipstick. You guys have seen that one already. I have my lip gloss. This is what's on my lips right now. I don't even know if you can tell, but the shininess of my lips is coming from my Burt's Bees. Lip shine, 100% natural. I love this. I've had this forever. It lasted a really long time. Um, I do still have my Dr. Bronner's in here. Um, like I said, I'm pretty much out of it but I am still digging some of it out that's why I got the other one um, I have my Burt's Bees um, crayon matte lip crayon in case you know I want to do like a little pink tint because this doesn't come off really pink on me it doesn't it comes off more like a tint and then I have the um, this is actually I know it you can't tell because I've rubbed off everything, but this is also Burt's Bees. If you look at the top of it, you can see the bee pattern of the honeycomb. This is a Burt's Bees, and this comes in that same pink tint. So I have that in here. I have my poopery. When I go to the bathroom, I can spray. Um, I got a razor just in case I need it. I have more pads. These pads are actually the um, ones that you get from Target that <coughs> um, are non-toxic and all that great stuff. So these are the ones that I generally use all the time and so I have them in there. But they're very lightweight. Um, I got some pocket change. I got my charger, my car charger. 
pretty much that's all that's in there. So, like I said, we're going to see about these lashes, honey. I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to try it, though. I'm going to give it a good try. I'm going to give it a good gung-ho. And this bag, this little baggie I got from Target, you guys saw this um, last year, in the last year, beginning of this year, something like that. When I purchased this one from Target, I did a um, shop with me Target video, and I've had this little purse ever since. I love it, love it, love it. It holds quite a bit, so all my little makeup stuff is in there. Now, I am going to do a separate video, and I'll be showing you guys what's in my baby bag. So, I shall see you then. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope that maybe something I had is maybe something you didn't think about that you might want to throw in your little baggie. Okay? So, we'll see you guys later. Bye.